Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, May 14th, 2021. We come to follow Jesus in various ways. The Holy Spirit works in each of us to know and serve God and our brothers and sisters. Saul's eyes were open and he became a devoted follower of Jesus. Another of Jesus' apostles is honored today. St. Matthias was chosen to replace Judas Iscariot. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After taking some food, Saul regained his strength. For several days he was with the disciples in Damascus, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, saying, He is the Son of God. All who heard him were amazed and said, Is not this the man who made havoc in Jerusalem among those who invoked his name? Saul became increasingly more powerful and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus was the Messiah. After some time had passed, the Jews plotted to kill him. They were watching the gates day and night so that they might kill him. But his disciples took him by night and let him down through an opening in the wall, lowering him in a basket. The word of the Lord. Now let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, for our family, our neighbors, and the world as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now please join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now today we have several birthdays. Happy birthday to Evan Baronic in 5D, to Logan Eichler in 8A, and to Bowen Llewellyn in 2C. And boys and girls, today you're going to be getting your yearbooks. Uh, we want to really take time to thank Mrs. Price and Mrs. Stewart for all their hard work putting our yearbooks together for us. And you'll get a chance to sign your friends' yearbooks. Remember to write things in your yearbook, your friends' yearbooks that are kind and something that you wouldn't mind adults looking at because I will be looking at yearbooks. Maybe Father Eric could see those yearbooks. So write good things in those yearbooks, happy things, encouraging things, and have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.